Hey y'all. So what it is, she made mommy of two, just kidding, probably not. I'm okay with that. Anyways, so um, today, technically today, cause I'm filming on the, well, yeah, technically today, cause I'm filming on the 26th, this video will go up on the 28th. Um, but we're going to do an appointment update. So basically I went in for my appointment and I found out the gender, which you guys will find out in a later video. Um, find out the gender. Of course we have the name picked and everything. Like I said, that's another video for later on. However, um, this video, we're just going to do, you know, an appointment update. So here's my big old belly. It's not really big, but you know, big enough. We are 16 weeks, 5 days as of this video filming. When this video goes up, we'll be 17 weeks. So, um, basically they went in, they got the baby's measurement. They got the baby's measurements um, for the most part and everything. Um, you know, they did the workup. For all of you ladies who have had babies, you know that, you know, you have to go in and have so many different medical things done initially when you come to your first appointment. Well, this was my first appointment. So we, they um did all that. They scheduled my next appointment, which was really cool. Um, it's a month from now, so I'm still gonna be on monthly, um, monthly appointments for I think one or two more times, I believe until I'm like 27 or 30 weeks. Um, so, yeah, that's about another two or three months from now. Um, so, um, okay, so I had to go do, I have to go do blood work. I didn't go do it today because I was running short on time and I was tired. My, the little one is, she was getting rowdy. She was already frustrated because they were messing with my belly. Um, so, um, I was like, well, I'll just come back and do my blood work a later day. And that's what, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, they do have to do some extension, extensive blood work. Um, with that being said, the reason why they have to do so much extensive blood work is because with my first one, I had preeclampsia. So with that, basically that means I had problems with my blood pressure. I was seeing spots, um, things of that nature. And so with preeclampsia, a lot of times they have to deliver the baby early, um, just as a safety precaution to both mom and baby. Um, so with my daughter, I carry 236 weeks and four days. Let me see this. 36 weeks and four days. Um, and one for each hand. There you go. 36 weeks and four days. Um, she did spend some time. That's a whole nother video as well um, for later on. Um, but yeah, so they gave me these papers, which is my blood work information. Pretty much that's saying that I need to go in and have um, all these different things done. So um, one of them that I have to do is my quad testing which includes the msafp i don't know what all these letters mean um but my total hcg my inhibin a and my uncoduated estriol count um so that's one of them that i have to do they have to do um hiv one and two and a b screen prenatal profile a prenatal profile pnp with the prnat a metabolic panel, a hemoglobin, hemoglobin A1C, LDH, uric acid, and urinalysis. On top of, they have a lot of blood work they have to do. Um, well, I don't think this is supposed to come to me. That was not supposed to come to me. Ooh. 
They gave me the wrong paperwork. Anyways. So yeah, so basically, um, they're gonna have to go in and do a lot of extensive testing just to make sure that this baby is going to be okay, that there's nothing wrong with this baby. Um, the quad testing is just to see if there's gonna be any uh, chromosomal birth defects. So like, um, um, I cannot think. Uh, goodness gracious, autism, Asperger's, things of that nature. Um, and so, that's what that's for. Um, Down syndrome, you know, things of that nature, which uh, that with everything is everything. You kind of got to take it as it is. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, they're going to do my, the culture for urine is pretty much just, to make sure that um you know there's no infections no utis no nothing like that because in pregnancy if that's not taken care of it can be detrimental to your baby um and then of course hiv 1 2 and AB screening that is for your std panel um, which on your first appointment when they do your vaginal exam, um, <laughs> when they do your vaginal exam, they um, do a lot of that testing then. However, there is some things they have to do blood work for like HIV AIDS, um, which with my daughter, I didn't have anything when I was clean. With this baby, I'm not afraid of anything coming back. Um, just because, I mean, me and my fiance have been together for so long, uh, there's not been... I have nothing to worry about, basically what I'm saying. Um, the hemoglobin A1C, the reason why they're doing that blood work this early in the pregnancy is because um, as a child, I was diagnosed with diabetes. However, with my first one, I was not, um, yo daddy gonna whoop you. <laughs> I was not diagnosed with gestational diabetes. However, this baby is Growing on time, however, is showing a lot bigger than what my first daughter was, or what my daughter was um, at this age gestation. Little human, stop it. So, um, that being said, it is a concern for them that um, I may have gestational diabetes, which, I mean, if so, pretty much you the doctor was telling me if you do just stay away from you have to stay away from your carbs and stuff like that no sweets which this pregnancy I'm not craving sweets I crave more like spicy and salty stuff than anything else um and then pasta I've always been a pasta lover I always have been pasta and bread are like to me I love pasta I love bread um so that's good that's been my hardest struggle not only with my first one but with this one as well so far like i've eaten a lot of pasta and i'm okay with that um i have lost significant amount of weight since i came pregnant when i found out i was pregnant i was 216 pounds as of right now i'm 207 pounds so i've lost nine pounds which they said isn't too big of a concern because it's not a significant weight loss. However, it is a concern and they think that I'm not eating enough, which I don't really eat for real because I don't really ever have an appetite. I'm always thirsty, but I never have like a full appetite. So yeah, my due date is set for the day before day of the same date of my daughter's birthday. Come here, come here. Come here. So here's my little bean sprout. You say hello. Say hey. Ew. 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 That's the rug. Mm hmm. Hanky. <laughs> so. 
Um, yeah, that's that's basically the gist of it. They're not there's not a lot that they're concerned with, but there is some things that they are concerned with. Um, so yeah. Um, let me see. Is there anything else that I think I should cover today? Um, no, today was just going to be the appointment update. Mm. So, um, yeah, I hope that you guys are enjoying my videos so far. I know I talk fast and I talk a lot and I talk about a lot of nothing, <laughs> but, um, I hope you're enjoying so far. Um, like I said before, I will be posting a video every Friday. Um, I, our next video will be newborn necessities. So if you're interested in seeing that, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to hit the yeah, notification bell yeah. to be notified when a new video is posted. I will do some updates every now and then in some of these videos. And then our conversations will be, you know, different topics and stuff. Like I said, the next appointment is going to be newborn necessities for stuff that we had with this one. Um, that a lot of it is going to be the same things that we are going to have with this baby. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, um, we'll be back next Friday with another video.